identical chocolate pieces are sold in boxes of two sizes, small and large. The large box is sold for twice the price of the small box. The selling price per gram of chocolate in the large box is 12% less than that in the small box. Then the percentage by which the weight of chocolate in the large box exceeds that in the small box is nearest to. Very interesting question. It is sold for twice. So small, large. And price is, if this is x, this is 2x. Nice. The selling price per gram. So let's say we want to do the weight. The weight of chocolate in the large box exceeds that in the small box. Weight, let's say this is 100 and this is y. And so that we can find the percentage difference straight away. This is a weight 100 and y. The selling price per gram of chocolate in the large box is 12% less than that in the small box. Price per gram per weight. Right, this is x by 100. This is 2x by y. Right. This is 2x by y is 12% less than that in the small box. So x by 100 into 0.88 is 2x by y. Done. We are through x by 100 into 0.88 is 2x by y. The x gets knocked off or y equals 200 by 0.88 or 200 by 88 into 100. 100 by 44, 50 by 22, 25 by 11. 25 by 11 into 100, 25 by 11 should be is 2 times, 3 by 11, another 2 times, 30 by 11, 22 goes off, another 7, it is 22.7, so somewhere around 227, that's what this number should be, 2.27, 227. So the large box is 2.27 times the small box, wait, so by what percentage? Then the percentage by which the weight of the chocolate in the large box exceeds that of the small box is 127%. This calculation, this question, I made a huge blunder. I found the answer to be 227. I didn't find it in the choices. And then kept doing the question over and over again, which is a shame really, because this is 227 percentage of the weight in the small box or 127% more. From their part, I think they missed a trick by not including 227 in the choices. I would have marked that straight away and got a minus one for myself.